start it up again. Hello, everyone. Hello. We are waiting our obligatory 30 minutes here for this quest. Or 30 minutes, 3 minutes for this quest. And then we will 30. continue. Oh, yeah, because the a a, uh, a metal slime now. For some reason, the metal slime nice. is moving as a, at the normal rate as the other slimes. i got to adjust that. Yeah, it's either 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. to you, depending on DST. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't log into Silly's account uh, for some reason. But that's probably because I play online. FF14 or FF11 is stupid with play online. Yes, yeah, so we got lots of slimes. We actually have more slimes that we're planning to come out with here soon. I got, um, I think the next two I'm going to release are Curate Rollo and uh, uh, Mother Glooperior. I don't know what happened. I think I I don't think I actually clicked the different slime when, when I was looking at the option, but I'm okay with a liquid metal slime. As you should be. Liquid metal slimes are awesome. Insane monstrosity is just a normal babble. We get a lot of babbles on stream. Not a lot of people use the regular slimes. That's because babbles are interesting looking. Well, they got the little bubbles, that's true. Winchick did really good work on the babbles. Uh, we so the slimes that we have, I got them uh, from a sprite sheet ripped from uh, Rocket Slime. The babbles were not ripped from Rocket Slime. They were ripped from. Um... You may change once you buy a hat. Uh, they were um, bought from, uh... or oh, they were ripped from Slime Mori Mori, the uh, Game Boy Advance Rocket Slime game. And because they were from the Game Boy Advance version, they weren't as high quality as the sl as the regular slimes were. So Wintrig oh. actually did a really good job of uh, upping upping their quality to match the, uh, the the normal slimes. You're not aware you could change? No, you certainly can. Yeah, just below the uh, stream, uh, there should be a stream advertised tab if you're on uh, on PC, and you can buy a hat in there. You can. Explore uh, all the different slimes, buy a new name tag, there's even actions you can do. Yusuf! Yeah, thank you, Namaria. If you are on a um, mobile, then there should be a little puzzle uh, icon below the stream that you can click on that uh, will have everything in there. Yeah, so you got hats. You guys can do this, mass shock. This might screw up the slimes up. If it does, I'm sorry. The back. I like the shock emote. It makes me happy. Alright. <laughs> that should be three minutes. Let me try again. Okay. Alright, so she says... Sorry for making you wait. And the kind of technology you possess, uh, she says that uh, she read about a solution and she can see it now. Okay. Yeah, she she says I uh, I cannot understand half of. Uh, 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 she says I can understand half, and I am pleased with that. Uh, apparently, for the second uh, child fuel tank, it looks like we can do uh, an expansion. Okay, so we can expand, expand to another one. How you doing, Yusuf? Only my expectation that is that it is a working nudge pot. Parts are applied, and you have no choice but to expand. Okay, we have no choice but to get this part for her to expand the fuel tank. Uh, it says engineering nudge one pot when you defeat a metal. Hunter, um, you should drop it from time to time. The key uh, that the sea can reach, uh, and she says, "Don't hesitate if you can kill it elsewhere." So I happen to know where we can kill it. So we actually got rid of the home point near where we killed them, but that's okay. I'm studying a little more here. If you get an engineering pot, I want you to bring it to me. Okay. So silly. What we're gonna do? After for that quest, is that normal? 
What's that? You're supposed to bring the item and then, like, because the quest goes through, but there's no, like, little dialogue box to accept it. It just keeps, like, I can yeah, talk to her and she's doing that same message every time. That's never happened before, so. It's because we're still on the same part of the quest, right? Uh, yeah. So Yusuf bought the complete FF14 edition for uh, 14 euros. Uh, there's 75 percent aid. That's a great deal. At 180 days, nice. and they gave you 150 days more. Yusuf, I hope you are enjoying the game. Sorry, I haven't been active on there. It's just I cycle through what I'm doing because I have a lot of games I'm working on and a lot of projects. But if you ever want to run a dungeon, just let us know in the Discord. We were more than happy to hop on with you as long as we're not busy. Yeah. Uh, Elfland. So, Elfland. Elfhaven. Oops. I... Yeah, I'm exactly. Slightly. Never I explained it. Uh, it's moving the plot of the quest, the current quest, forward. You don't need to clear it or you need to accept a new one. Do any of the actions cost currency? Only, uh, you can't do the mass ones. Those are only for me to do. Uh, just because uh, you can't mess with other people's slimes, I guess, is the way. Uh, it's like RPing rules, right? Mass shock will cause everybody to jump or everybody to be shocked. Everybody to dance, like I can do uh, mass dance, and everybody should dance. Um, the normal slimes actually have a different a dance animation too, so. But, um, the bomb emote costs 10 slime drops, so if you guys want to do bomb, which is this. You'll see here in just a moment. And my bomb blew me and Celia. Nice. That's how it be. The problem is that you didn't have uh, funds in your old account. Uh, so you have the, a new one. You only have 20 levels to farm. So that's not a big deal. Just let me know if, when you're on, Yusuf, and I can invite you back to the guild. Yeah. There you go. Oh, if you guys want to see a really funny emote, I can give you that. Okay, hang on, silly. I'm gonna do a fun one for them. So then you have this this emote here. Noaria, Insane Monstrosity, and Mirobot, and Yakuza were the only ones to survive. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> hey, Noaria, you're a metal slime now. Do the uh, dance emote with the metal slime. Okay, so I don't know if this one will take us anywhere that we want to go, so I'm going to check. I know this third one down that... Uh, looks like it's, uh, L at the front. Is not where we're gonna go. Uh, Village of Trees and Trees, Azran. No, let's go to the bottom one that looks like a sideways E. Or W. Yeah, W. That was pretty cool. Oh, they also added this one in. Um, here you go. This is also a new command that they worked on. It might freeze the, the program here, but uh, if it does, I'll just restart it. You also got this one. So you seeing this? Uh, this actually might be where we need to go. Okay, let's go through here. Ah, oh, Yusuf's gone! Silly's gone! Oh, I'm dead. It's only Noari and Yakuza left. The two metal slimes. Makes sense. They're really hard to hit.
Yakuza Nechan wins! Well, congrats! And now she's dancing. Yakuza, you won 500 slime drops. You can buy a hat. I gotta lower the amount that you guys win for that. Uh, I don't want you being able to buy a hat from winning one battle royale. Maybe two. You won the battle royale! Uh, the Battle Royale forces everybody that's in the stream to take part in it. So your slime just battles. You and Noaria were the last two standing, and you won. So you can now buy a hat. Anyway, the Battle Royale is a new, uh feature that they added in in the most recent patch and sometimes it freezes the system and I have to restart yeah, it. froze my screen. Yay, GG! Dracky GG. The Drackies, you feel at home. I like how our streams are very similar in that we both have a very Dragon Quest themed stream, whereas yours is uh, Drackies and mine's uh, Slimes. Slimes are adorable. True. The Drackies in uh, Rocket Slime look odd though. They had the uh, Platypunk tails. Depending on how much EXP the uh, Metal Hunters get silly, we, sh we may kill a few of them uh, just to get you under that 6,000 mark. Good. Slime drops for your currency before you settled on mini metals? Mini metals are good currency though. Very classic uh, Dragon Quest. I went with slime drops just because I had the slimes. Alright, this guy should only have the yes and no, so let's see this. Hey, Drackies are amazing. Plus, you got the hurt more, Drackey. Yeah, what actually drove me to go with the slime theme though was I saw somebody with stream avatars and they had like the characters from Fire Emblem Awakening and Fates and Conquest on there, or uh, Birthright and Conquest on there, and, like little avatars of people walking around. Uh, and this was right after I saw uh, Silly's girlfriend stream. She was using uh, stream avatars as well, and I really liked it. So I, once I saw the Fire Emblem one, I was like, okay, so it could be added, you can add in any characters you want? Hell yes! So I like messaged her and got her to give me some advice on what she used for the, to do that, and <laughs> then I spent like two weeks trying to learn how to make a sprite sheet, get it to work properly. I sent it to Wintree to adjust the dimensions for me because I couldn't figure that part out, and it was, it was a lot of fun. You got murdered by a Drackey with her more. Yeah, I remember you telling that story. Um, fun fact, when I first started playing Dragon Quest on stream... Oh, well, I'll see you later, Mormon. Pink... pink teeny Sanguini? Oh, this is a pink Sanguini. Right. Oh, shit, what'd you drop? Pants. Level 28. I don't want those, but... Uh, they look cute. Uh, they are... usable by nothing that we currently have. Well, actually, we have the jobs, yeah. just... Yeah. <laughs> when I first played Dragon Quest 1 on stream, I actually died to a red slime in my first, like, starting of the game, because I, um... misjudged how many I could kill before getting back to town, and, uh... Yeah, uh... I missed an attack, then I failed to run, and then it killed me, and I was like, well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> I almost ended my career streaming that day. 
Fluffy McFluff! Hello. Yakuza Nation, have you met Fluffy McFluff? He's pretty awesome. The first level in DQ on his side. We all have that kind of Dragon Quest story. <laughs> Except Silly. True. Silly needs to play more Dragon Quest. You only 13 HP and two attacks kill you. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Silly needs to play more Dragon Quest games. He's been playing Dragon Quest 10 and a little bit of 11. Have you played any others? Having, having 13 HP and two attacks kill you sounds like it. starting Dungeons and Dragons level one. Dragons? What are what? What's dragons? Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Silly has the same di difficulties on Diablo. Yusuf really likes to bust your balls about Diablo, so like... I don't even remember, like, the issue that was going on with Diablo. Me either. Maybe I was dying a lot. You're doing pretty good? You have to study for an English exam tomorrow. Ah, oh, Fluffy, you always have language exams. What's up with that? Oh. What the hell? Guys, if you want to learn to speak Latin, Fluffy's your guy. He only gets C's on his exams, but that's because he limits himself on purpose. You think you watched Silly playing D3 once and he died three times, that's why? <laughs> uh, Silly has a rule when he's playing Diablo 3 that he has to die three times every time he's on because it's the third game. It's a factual thing. I'm not the guy for Latin. <laughs> what? Why did you disappear? Am I lagging or something? Uh, you might be lagging. Stuck over That's on the weird. other side of the bridge. Yeah, I like was following you and then all of a sudden I wasn't anymore. It says I am now though. Yeah. But I'm not. That's weird. Oh, what? That's weird. You know? I watched uh, a video, uh, Fluffy, of like various languages and how you say something, and it was like uh, English, French, Italian, um, Portuguese, and German, and it was like, the English guy was like, pen, stylo, for the French one. Uh, I don't remember what it was in... Uh, Italian or uh, Portuguese, but then you get to German and it's like this really angry sounding guy yelling at the screen. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know what the hell he just said. Sounds accurate. And like hippopotamus is uh, hippopotamus in English and hippopotam in uh, French and um, similar in Italian and Portuguese, but then it's like Nufpuck in uh, in uh, German. Yeah, you know that video? And the word sex is like three letters long in English and five in like uh, Italian, like sezzo. And in German it's like a 24 letter long word. <laughs> Nilfed! Yes, that's it. Google scribe. My, de my German pronunciation is offensive, I'm sorry. Like, the guy just sounds so angry when he's saying these words. All I can say is German sound- if, if that's how uh, German people are when they speak, they sound like a very passionate people. Oh good, 837. They took the longest word for sex though. So there's more than one word for it? Is there anything special we gotta do when killing these, or just kill them? Uh, I don't know. And it just says, just kill them. fight them. Silly's back to trying to make the uh, metal hunters laugh. I can make everything laugh. Alright, did not drop what we're looking for. 
We also just say sex. I gotcha. I told my mom I was teaching myself Japanese, and she was like, Why would you learn Japanese? It's the hardest language in the world to learn! And I'm like, well, I think that's subjective, but alright. Yusuf hears the word sex and he has to say it. How you doing, Yusuf? Yusuf, have you met Noaria? These guys do not want to drop anything. All those words are really overpronounced. Yeah, I figured they were doing that for flair in the video, but uh, it still amused me. French, German, and Arabic are the worst to learn? If English isn't your first language, you think it's one. Yeah, yeah. See, that's what I've heard from people who don't speak English is that it's super, super difficult to learn. There we go. Did you get that? Yeah. All right. How much do you need to level up? Four thousand nine hundred eight. Excellent. Okay. Uh, I'll go back to. My first one. And okay. finish. You so you know, finish is pretty hard to learn. Um, I um don't. I actually speak a little bit of French. Like I can read it better than I can speak it. But uh, I grew up learning French, so I don't know if that's uh, part and parcel to why I have no issue uh, with that. But. Languages for me, like in school, I excelled at sciences, all the sciences, math, straight A's, yeah, English courses, straight A's, uh, physical education, even, I got straight A's. But uh, when it came to languages, I got A's in the classes, but once that class was done, I just didn't really remember much of what was going on. Like, language knowledge just goes in one side and out the other, so I'm really struggling to learn Japanese right now. Fortunately, the characters I can get, um, that's not a problem. Like, I taught myself how to read Elvish characters, and I still remember them to this day. But... Alright, back to the Dwarf area. So, the last girl I was seeing, um, she was a French girl from, uh, Quebec. And I live in Ontario, right on the border with Quebec, so it worked out. But she, um, she was asking me if I speak any French, because she's, she's bilingual, I am not. And I was like, I can say three things in French. And she's like, okay, what are they? And I was like, I can say, je ne parle pas français, which is, I do not speak French. Um, je suis le tigre chinois. Uh, I am the Chinese tiger. And... I can say, je joue avec moi même. Oh boy. And she started laughing, and just laughing at that last one. And... She's like, did you seriously just say that? <laughs> and, uh, the last one means I play with myself. <laughs> and she thought that was absolutely hilarious. That those are the three things I knew how to say. <laughs> Obviously, I can say more than that, but yeah. Hey, Silly, you actually beat me out here. Yep. It looks like uh, the engineering nephew. Uh, oh, it looks like you got the, <laughs> the engineering nephew. I think it sounds like what they're translating as to what she's calling us. It got the uh, item. Uh, she says, with that fuel tank, uh, she thinks she can expand it. Uh, will you give it to her? So, yes. Oh, look at that guy's outfit! That's cool. I want it. This game has such amazing outfits. It needs to come over to Canada or the United States, North America, just for that alone. She says, thank you. Well, then, I'll get started working. Let's lend, uh, uh, lend me the, your, your Dole Ward bar for a while. 
I have to close my window, so I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, a little bit of work. Can you hear a story? Uh, you hear the voice of the god Kar Karakuri. It's worthwhile to be able to hear you. It's okay, so it's worthwhile to be able to listen to this story, I guess. She says, My father is a technologist who corrects uh, the divine power, has the divine power of Rackley. Uh, listening to her father tell stories would make her feel better? What the translator's giving me here. Uh, there was a story that I didn't believe at first. One day, when your father was away, you found something in the studio. The equipment was uh, collapsed and she was buried under the luggage. It was about time to get rid of it. At that time, the dollar board uh, helped you uh, t on your side. The dollar board helped her. I'm not understanding that. I'm like, can I help me? So it sounds like the dollar board helped her when, uh... Okay, so when, after that, uh, the child, the, the dollar board was broken and it's been since then she also got to hear Kara Curry's voice. It's gonna be an incredible thing. Well, I'll take a second. I don't know, people love cash shops. And it's the girl helped me, this girl also wants to help you. Uh, okay, so as, as the girl helped uh, her, uh, she also thinks it wants to help me. She thinks so, okay. She says, there you go, the, the uh, upgrade is complete. Oh, okay, so. Yeah, okay. So Noria clarified exactly what was going on. She was on uh, next to an unsteady pile of stuff. It collapsed on top of her, and the board propped everything above her and saved her from being crushed. And but it was broken after that, right? The fuel tank has been expanded to add serene. Uh, you're able to put in two. Okay, so we'll build that in two now. So, what are we saying about outfits and stuff, and how they're in the cash shop? Sixty minutes. It is also possible to spy Dol uh, Dulcerine. Give me a sec, I'll discuss that here in a sec. Uh, okay, this child looks like uh, you'll be able to ride a long time. It looks like a very lazy person. Shit, I skipped past that by accident. It gave you the joy. Uh, it is for you. Okay. She says... Today's voice, uh, I heard today's voice. I hope you will ride this important thing. Okay, so yeah, we can work up for 60 minutes. Okay, I see, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Thank you, Noaria, I appreciate that. Okay, so that guy there, Noir is saying that a lot of the outfits that we see come from the cash shop in this game. And she doesn't think that they uh -huh. it would do well over here. But, um... Well, you'd be surprised. FF14's cash shop does really well, even though it has a sub, so... I would buy things. I've bought things. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I guess I'm picking up the next quest. <laughs> I will too then. Alright, uh, she said. She came, I was waiting for you. The truth about the top board you gave to you is there's one more thing you want to check. Alright, she wants to check. Will you show me the dollar board again? Yeah. You've heard of people complain about FF14 being money grubbing? But that's the thing, like. Everything in FF14's cash shop is entirely optional. It's not game, it's not money grubbing because it's not pay to win. Yeah, the game offers a whole load of outfits, 
and mounts and things that you can get uh, through normal things in the game, emotes and all sorts of things. And then it offers some on the cash shop. She says, uh, I really appreciate it. Am I a genius? I want to say more. Good boy. Yeah, FF14 has, as Silly put, point out, has so much that you can get in game that offering stuff on the cash shop is not a big deal. The only thing I would, I kind of disagree with what do is they offer, like, things from previous events. Like, like, uh,. Every year they have the same like like holiday events and stuff like that. Each year they they take what was given to you last year and put it on the new shop. And I guess that's partially because the events are different every year. Like they make something new every time. But I feel like they should just put them in the game to buy through money. You know? Yeah. But that's okay. I don't mind it because I usually get everything. She says the boy is very grateful sure. to you. And more want to be helpful to you, I'm telling you. And wants to be more helpful to you. Okay, so the dollar board wants to be even more helpful to us. Um, and she wants to help us uh, with that. She wants to help the dollar board help us. She says, you'll get me. Okay. This guy's getting involved now. He's like, what the fuck are you talking about? No. He says, you're talking about something that looks interesting. Uh, please tell me that story. So he's interested in what's going on. What is Eitoshi's specialty? It is useful to use the dollar board. If you think normally, it'll be a speedy thing. Okay. Uh, his specialty is is uh, making use of the dollar board. When it comes to the speed of the dollar board, there's a man with a passionate. Okay, so when it comes to the speed of the dollar board, this guy is a passionate man. Like he's passionate about it. Like I get why they make that choice with the uh, past items, but it'd be nice if during the event you could get it for free again. He's the number younger brother of uh, whose name is Chiunik. Uh Your hobbies are now in are high now. It looks like he's a researcher in the Doruma Crystal Palace. Is that what I'm getting from this? Hey, I'm not doing that. It's the thing here. It's translating into him. Because what I'm crazy Uda is true. When you talk to me, it's good. Okay, I don't know what that's supposed to say. Anyway, we're talking about increasing the speed of the, uh... She says... It's a stupid name that's translating to. <laughs> uh, it says, uh, your field of research is different from mine. Uh, they were a colleague in the same laboratory. Okay, so when uh, gender is implied, I think translators default to him. Okay, uh, but she's using the personal pronoun Atashi, which men don't usually do. Nostalgic name. Okay. Plus, she looks like a girl. That's a girl. Look, I'll stand next to her. It's the same person. When I was in the laboratory, what? I talked too much about it. Certainly, his field of study, the moss, will become Chichira. Okay. I'm sure I'm sorry. I'm a strong player. Okay. Uh, 
says, uh, Chiniku is in the dough warm crystal palace. Uh, let's go to the story of the garden air. air. Okay, cool. So they want us to go talk to them in the garden air. <laughs> that, is, that name is nostalgic, not that name is stupid. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I, like, it was like that name is stupid. Okay, they said they are waiting for you. How much? Can I get the foster child and just give up? Come back. Okay. So after we get this person's thoughts, she wants us to come back. Uh, okay, it says the garden is first of all go east of Wilderness well, and then go northeastern part of the desert of Gobu. Or northwestern part of the desert east of Gobu. Okay. I think we were there before. And they want us to do something for five. Let's see. It is point beyond the east of the Gobble Desert East, in the center of the kingdom. It is a located on the fifth floor of the Dora Romu Crystal Palace. Are they directing us to get to the Crystal Palace? Because we didn't have any fun. Maybe. Alright, let's uh, open up this quest now. Okay, so we spoke to her, and now we gotta go to Dora Romu Crystal Palace. We're going to your dwarf one. Okay. That's hilarious. Well, I'm glad we have Noraya here to let us know when the translator's being dumb. Agreed. 